Welcome back to Top 40 Prayers. In today's topic, I'm going to show you guys how to fix P0073 faulty ambient air temperature sensor trouble codes. If you're getting P0073 ambient air temperature sensor trouble code, most likely you have a faulty sensor or a bad wire or poor connection. The ambient air temperature sensor is usually located right in front of the radiator or right behind the front bumper or on the radiator support or it can be located right behind the front grill. If you can't locate the ambient air temperature sensor, it's because the ambient air temperature sensor can also be found on the driver's side mirror and it can also be found on the passenger side mirror. What is the purpose of having an ambient air temperature sensor? The purpose of having an ambient air temperature sensor is to monitor the outdoor temperature. By monitoring the outdoor temperature, information is sent to the engine control module, and the engine control module will send the information to the climate control. Climate control will help adjust the interior temperature. Before you change the ambient air temperature sensor, there are a few symptoms you should recognize. For example, when this sensor fell, it can prevent the AC compressor from engaging. So when the AC compressor does not engage, the AC compressor is not going to work and you're not going to feel cold air blowing out of the vent when you activate the AC system. The next time that you know that the ambient air temperature sensor may not be working properly is that the ambient air temperature sensor is showing incorrect temperature, inaccurate temperature, or false reading. For example, when you look at the temperature on the instrument cluster and it's not matching with the outdoor temperature, that's how you know that the sensor might be the issue. For example, let's say outdoor temperature is 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And when you look at the temperature on the instrument cluster, and let's just say it shows negative 20 degrees, that is how you know that there's an issue with that sensor. So what caused the ambient air temperature sensor to fail? And the number one reason why the ambient air temperature sensor fell is going to be a wire issue. For example, the wire on the ambient air temperature sensor can become brittle, it can break off, it can cause an open, and if the two wires touch together, it can cause a short. If you notice temperature fluctuation on the instrument cluster, it's because maybe something is interfering with the ambient air temperature sensor. For example, there could be a buildup of leaves or a trash bag on the ambient air temperature sensor, and it can momentarily cause the ambient air temperature sensor to not work properly. If the ambient air temperature sensor is located in a bad location, for example, it is mounted on the radio support, but on the bottom end, and let's say you don't have an undercover, and if you run over a puddle of water or mud, and all that mud or water get on the sensor, it can prevent the ambient temperature sensor from working properly. If the ambient air temperature sensor temporarily is not working properly due to mud or water on it, you can always use CRC electronic cleaner and you can try cleaning the sensor. If you don't have an electronic cleaner, you can also just use a garden hose and just spray the sensor and hopefully that will fix the issue. The next reason why the ambient air temperature sensor is not working properly is going to be caused by damage. If the ambient air temperature sensor is mounted on the driver's side mirror or on the passenger side mirror and let's just say you're reversing out of your driveway and you accidentally hit your trash can, you could damage the sensor that is mounted inside the driver's side or the passenger side mirror. If the temperature on the instrument cluster is always fluctuating, maybe it is time to check the wire. What you want to do is you want to grab the wire and you want to wiggle it. If you notice the temperature on the instrument cluster start to stabilize, then you probably have a wire issue. I hope you found this lesson informative. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.